and you guys thought our adventure was over? As if! Welcome back to the Red Lantern, everyone, where even though we have made our way to the cabin with the Red Lantern and we have started settling in with our sled dogging team in the Alaskan wilderness, that does not mean that our adventures are over. So don't worry, guys. Even though we have our cabin and we have at least managed to make it somewhere where now we won't die every time we set foot into the snowy wilderness, we are totally going to be continuing our adventures in Red Lantern. There are actually hundreds. I think there's something like 400 unique special events that you can run into when you are out on a dog run and we have barely scratched the surface so don't worry we are totally going to be running with our dogs still not to mention we have only just started working on the journal there's still a ton of things that we need to go ahead and do. If you notice, we're about halfway through paying attention to a whole bunch of things for the packing list, but we have done almost nothing with learning more about how we could take good care of our dogs and living off the land. Apparently each dog has their own unique special story that you might be able to piece together if you go on enough runs with them and have enough special events happen. So imagine that, getting to know the special story behind Iggy, who has done so good she has been such a good girl protecting us and keeping us alive whenever we run into something dangerous or maybe finn will finally find something with her nose that is not a skunk so i would love to continue exploring with our puppers and seeing what they could potentially find out in the wilderness not to mention we could go on more runs with the other dogs i think there's two dogs we haven't even met yet so i definitely want to try meeting some of the other dogs you know after we spend a little bit more time with our current pups and then all of the animals we have found almost nothing out about all of the different animals that we can run into i mean look at this fox bear weasel owl the bird who i can never pronounce how do you pronounce that fluffy adorable bird it just looks like a bird ball of feathers like an orb of feathers that just perches in a tree Pergerman? Parchman? How on earth do you pronounce that? I need your guys' help with that. There's also rabbits, moose, eagle, deer. We found a little bit out about the caribou. Squirrel, we did try to speak squirrel, which was pretty cute. We did see the porcupine cone, which was really cute. The skunk, yeah, well, we've learned a little bit about the skunk thanks to Finn. Elk, ox, wolverine, the wolf, the beaver. Even though we've run into a lot of these creatures, we haven't learned anything about them for the sake of the journal. So we're going to be carrying on with these adventures, guys. And not only that, but we are totally going to be... Let's see, there we go. But we are totally going to be trying to see what would happen if our good boy Chomper and our good girl Iggy possibly had puppies in the upcoming Sims 4 Snowy Escape. I'm really excited about that and I'm hoping that we can have a good time exploring the snowy world that is going to be coming out on the 13th of November and seeing if Iggy and Chomper in The Sims 4 can have puppies while we play as our musher, exploring another snowy landscape. I think that'd be a lot of fun, so let me know what you guys think about that, and let's go ahead and continue. We're gonna go on more runs. Apparently there's even items for the dogs that you can find, like we found the fire starter and the axe. Where did she say this cabin is again? <laughs> Look, we know where the cabin is now, so we're We've gonna an say- to help and a fire starter. We don't need to worry about collecting birch. Yes, I think we're ready to go. So, uh, we're, mush on. We're going to go ahead and say that we've already found the cabin and all of these current runs that we're doing is just for fun, for adventures, because that's why we're out here, right? To learn more about ourselves and the world. Let's do this, guys. Lead on, Chomper. The road. Where to? Let's go. Ha! Huh. Huh. I like exploring the mountains. And maybe we'll be able to find like a, a fishing rod, which would be really cool. And it looks like we found dinner at least. Oh, you pups see that? It's a caribou. Ah, uh, should we? Let's hunt it. Sorry, caribou. Just stay there. I really need the food though. Okay, that wasn't close enough. Not close enough, but getting there. I want to try to do one shot with it. Nope. You really have to be patient. 
because I want to make sure we do this just right. We are going to be taking this caribou's life. It is really odd to see the caribou by itself, though. Usually, these guys travel in... There we Thank go. Thank you, caribou. We appreciate you. Now mm, for the do. part I like less. I'll meet you back at the sled pups. There. Now we've got some food. Hey, look what I found. Another meal ready to go. We look like a meat Four wagon. Let's get back out there. I wouldn't be surprised if the wolves tried to chase us again with all of that just dropped to the side. And keep in mind, the goal now isn't really to get as far as we can go anymore. Our goal is to be able to explore all of the different options that we have. So we don't have to worry about making it all the way to the run. We just want to try to go far enough that we can Finn, discover what do you new smell, things. Girl? There's something worth checking out up there. Oh boy. All right, Finn. Let's try it. What you tracking, girl? Oh, Finn, get out of there. <sighs> uh, Maybe his owners warned us. But hey, you followed your nose, and it could have been something amazing. We'll poor try again Finn. Sometime. See, the goal is to have events like that. Thanks we just want to let the pups. pups investigate everything they want to now. Let's go, Chopper. And when, when we get faint or the dogs get tired, it's not like we died anymore. We'll just say we'll return back to the cabin. Well, it didn't work out this time, Finn, but I trust what you can find. You've got a nose that shows you far more than I can see. And you're probably used to smelling like skunk by now. And if we're not focusing so hard on just having to manage our survival, I mean, this would be so much fun just to explore with the dogs and to take the options that wouldn't be logical, but would be a lot of fun. All right, come on, pups. We'll have to stop for food soon, huh? Mush on. Oh, look, another caribou. That's far away, but it's here. What should we do? Can I just check it out without hunting it? Hey, pups, stay nice and quiet. Let's see if it'll come closer. Here, little caribou. Oh, wow. Caribou do travel in those big, beautiful mass migrations. Along with reindeer, they do that too. That's better. We could hunt it. I mean, uh, that would give us some vital food. All right, let's just get this rifle ready. I don't know about this. Well, we won't starve tonight. Okay, let's take this route back to the sled. That actually wasn't too bad. I feel hey, like we've gotten a lot more successful at carrying all this some meat. More food. It might be time to have a meal. Three bullets left. Okay, guys. All right. Let's mush on. Come on, pups. Let's go ahead and camp. Apparently, we are learning to survive in the wilderness a lot better. Let's take a break. Take a break, pups. <laughs> All right, you guys. Let's see. Let's go ahead and maybe sleep first. And then afterward, we'll all have a good breakfast. Uh, I think I'll get a little hungry if we sleep, but it should be okay. Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? Uh, you know what? First, I want to pet everybody. Like, Finn. You did good out there. I don't mind you found a skunk. I trust you, Finn. You can trust me. But you still smell a little. Oh, so we're not mad at her for finding the skunk, and that made Finn feel a lot better. I bet her previous owners were ready to get rid of her because she was always smelling like skunk. Don't worry, girl. We've got your back. All right, everybody. Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? Let's go ahead and get a little bit of sleep. All right. Everyone feeling better? All right. Hey, guys. Finn? Finn? What's the matter? Did you take my beanie? It kind of looks like you did. <laughs> she took my beanie? Are you comforted by my scent? <gasps> That's so sweet! Cause I think you're thinking about being my friend. Okay. Well, uh, I'll need that hat back before we go running, but you can keep it for now. Finn wanted to have something with my scent on it because it made her feel better. The fire would be nice. I can't oh, believe I can't wait how to feel that the warmth is. on my face. 
Oh my gosh. All right. Hang in there, pups. I'm really I'm hungry. I'm ready to cook some food. So I'm going to need a bit of food. I mean, I guess I could just have a full stomach for once. And you guys could too. Food time. Chow down, pups. All right. We'll do... You know what? We'll give them a full meal too. We're out for adventure and not really for as making it as far as usual after all. And thank you, caribou. Definitely need to thank all of them for their contribution, for the wonderful dinner that we just had. And I definitely need to learn a little bit more about caribou. It feels only fair. If we're going to come out here and eat them, then I want to become a miniature caribou expert. All right. Get back on the trail. Let's keep going, guys. Then I'm going to need my beanie back now. Thanks, buddy. All right. Okay. Let's mush on. That's adorable. If we do the Sims 4 version of the smusher and the dogs, we might need to have her knit because oh, no, what? she could go ahead and... Ha! Huh. Huh. She could go ahead and knit beanies and little booties and things and sweaters for the dogs. That'd be really cute. And maybe her sweaters that she knits herself helps to keep her warm. Uh-oh. How close do you think that wolf is? Try to find it. Right. It's hiding. I don't know if finding or it's a good idea. It's stalking us. Oh, whoa. Okay, I'm back. See? Being able to pick the different go, directions chopper. were things that normally wouldn't make logical sense to try to get to the end of the run. That's what exploring is all about. I have a feeling we might run into the wolves again. Uh-oh. There's something up ahead. I saw its eyes. Is that a... <gasps> it's a fox! Like that? It's an arctic fox looking for its food. Oh my gosh! And to think it just knows how to do this. It just knows how to survive. Using its we ears be so lucky. to find... Using the ears to find all of the food. It, what the foxes do is they listen with those big ears of theirs to the tiny, tiny sounds of the creatures under the snow. And then they do that head dive to burrow into the snow and to try to get closer and closer to the food that's hiding down there. That's just awesome. Let's see. I don't want to hunt it. I want to go ahead and just watch it for a minute. This is beautiful with the stars overhead. The little fox hunting. I wonder what we could learn from it. I mean, it had to learn those lessons too. Wow, you have some serious patience. I believe there should be something there. Let's wait. This is so cute. Okay, maybe you don't have this. But I have to know it's possible. And again, like, look, our protagonist, the musher, she seems to think that everybody is just born with all of the knowledge they need. But a lot of it comes through trial and error. That's how she's learned how to survive out here so far. And that's how I think we all should feel more confident about learning. I really was so afraid of being perfect for so long in my life that I missed out on a lot of growth and just being able to try new things out. I don't want to live like that. I want to be willing to make mistakes. The key is just to set your mistakes up so that then when you don't make it work, when things get a little messy, it can just be a safe, creative process. Not something like dying in the Alaskan wilderness. Don't do what she's done. And we have to know that it's possible. Try, try again, and this fox can use its skills to find food. Let's see what happens. Oh, I thought I heard something. Wait! You almost had it! You have to be able to find food! You're built for this! Fine! Just give up! Our musher. Our musher. Do you okay? <sighs> Let's be safe out there. It's not about being built for it. She really thinks that people are like default. <sighs> okay, so maybe we shouldn't take lessons from foxes. We can't just give up, right? Look, maybe it wasn't giving up. It was just knowing that you couldn't finish there, so you try something else. It's not like the fox failed by not getting it Wait, perfectly the first time. All right, caribou. All right, come on, friend. Okay, just breathe. 
and pull the trigger. But yeah, what do you guys think? I don't think that was failing. Look, the fox tried and might have better luck with finding food in another spot. That just really seems to be the theme. Don't be afraid of failure, just don't set it up so that it's all or nothing, literally, for your life. Did I get it? Huh? I hit it! And it's still fine. Great. Oof. Okay. We'll hit this caribou. We will kill this caribou. I mean... And killing the caribou takes a lot of practice. She's gained a lot of skill in aiming and trying to hit it since we started this, so I'm just rambling because it's really important to me that people feel comfortable with trying things out. Oh, dang it. Yes! We did it! Food is ours! <laughs> We're pretty good at this. And the dogs are pretty happy about having that dinner. Was worth it. All right. Well, guys, we're going to carry meat. on. We've got one. At least we've already got some food. We've got a Let's little bit of a out. snack. And I think we've already learned a lot this run. From the foxes, about being willing to make messy mistakes, and also about honoring the caribou's sacrifice. So, if you guys could, do please leave a like you know, for we're our... Actually, do <laughs> I mean, we're... But we're making... If you guys could, do please leave a like for our wonderful sled dogs and let me know what you think about Finn. I mean, she likes our beanie. And if you guys would like to join us on this and thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you all next time. Now what? Bye-bye.